Parents, when did you realize you had failed your children? From the day he was born, my son just came out wrong. We showered affection on him and really tried to give him a happy childhood. But from the day we brought him home from the hospital, he was miserable. He cried for 13 months straight. He cried until he had no voice left and kept crying. You could see his little face scrunched up and no sound coming out, totally hoarse. Once he got over the crying stage, we thought we were out of the woods. But it quickly became clear that he was just angry at being alive. I never saw the kid have a genuine, joyous smile once in the time I knew him. I saw him grin a vicious, horrible grin many times. He took a perverse pleasure from causing pain or suffering or breaking a rule, but a smile from real pleasure at something nice? No, never. Not once. He had no interest in anything positive. He was fueled by hate, and everything he did was bent toward that. As soon as he could walk, his mission in life was to destroy things. He would break or try to break anything that came in his range. When he grew older, he became more and more unmanageable. Therapy and meds were hopeless. He would bite, kick, scream, scratch and spit at anyone trying to do anything with him. He was kicked out of school twice before he was nine. The next school put him in a special class that kept him away from the other students. We had to install a door and lock on the kitchen because he would steal knives and use them to gouge the walls and furniture or chase people with them. When he was 10, he stabbed me with a kitchen knife in the hip and butt. I still have the scars. As he grew older, he grew darker. He moved into setting things on fire, and torturing local animals. There was a stray dog that hung out around the park near our house. My son blinded it in one eye with a barbecue fork. He would dip cats tails in gasoline and light them on fire. He became a violent, stinking, vicious beast that lived in our house. When my son was 16, my wife got pregnant again. I can't tell you how different our reaction was. Instead of joy, we felt horror. My son had been such an unending nightmare for 16 years. We couldn't take the idea of starting again from the beginning. We talked a lot about terminating, but in the end, we decided that my wife would have the baby. If it turned out evil, we would put it up for adoption. We knew we just couldn't do it again with another child like our son. We had a daughter. She was normal. Suddenly we saw what our lives should have been like the whole time. How things would have been had our son not been himself. She laughed at things and was happy. After four months, she was sleeping through the night. I can't describe the relief and happiness that we both felt. Up until that time, whatever mistakes I made, I'd always tried to do the best for my son. I tried to love him and care for him, I really tried. But when my daughter was born, my wife and I both instinctively just turned toward her. She became our focus, not for malice, but just because she was so much easier. She was so happy and sweet. Every moment we were with her was like magic. I understand this was wrong, but we honestly couldn't help it. My son hadn't cared about my wife being pregnant. When we brought our daughter home he started acting out even more. At this time he was 17, and we were having blowout screaming matches daily. Usually after we fought, he would storm out of the house and disappear for hours at a time, or come back the next morning. It was a relief. I started to actually look forward to our fights because it would get him away from us for a while. After the birth of our daughter, my relationship with my son was almost entirely gone, our only real interactions were screaming at each other. My wife was even worse with him, she just had nothing left.